Ah, the great sound of the New Hampshire Police Association pipes and drums. And, uh, wow, just a great, great sound. They've been around for a long time. Sergeant Patrick Cheatham is uh, with us from the Londonderry PD. How are you today, Patrick? Good, Ken. Good afternoon. It's uh, great to have you with us again here talking uh, about the uh, not only the New Hampshire Police Association pipes and drums, but a very special event uh, that they are going to be involved with uh, coming up uh, December 15th at the Palace Theater in Manchester. That's right, a week from this Tuesday. Yeah, not too far away. And, and tell us about it. So the Palace Theater uh, has arranged for Ronan Tynan to come and perform a Christmas concert on Tuesday the 15th, and uh, they reached out to us and uh, asked if, if uh, we'd be willing to participate. And uh, so we've been coordinating over the last six weeks or so to, to have a signature performance uh, during Mr. Tynan's show. Wow, that, that is really something to uh, play with a world-renowned artist like uh, Ronan Tynan. It really is an honor when you consider that he's, he's uh, sang for uh, numerous U.S. presidents. He sang at the funeral for President Ron Reagan, uh, and uh, not to mention uh, Yankee Stadium, you know, for years Many and years. Many times, yeah, yeah. And, uh, I mean, you, you can just uh, you know, search his name online, and you can go down his, uh, his list of accomplishments, so to speak. Well, absolutely so, and I, I did see when I was just uh, Googling him uh, a couple of minutes ago that he's going to be performing at Gillette Stadium this Sunday. Uh, I, I don't know whether he's doing God Bless America or the National Anthem, but uh, he will be performing at uh, Gillette Stadium this coming Sunday, Patriots uh, and Eagles at uh, Gillette Stadium, and then uh, on December 15th at the uh, Palace Theater in Manchester. So uh, how long have you known about uh, your involvement uh, with it? Just under two months. Uh, I'm not sure if the Palace was able to secure his attendance uh, somewhat last minute. I know they they plan their schedule out well in advance, but yeah. sometimes I think they're able to get some pretty special people when schedules become available. So sure. uh, just about the last six weeks, a uh, week or so, and ticket sales are going very well, uh, but there are still plenty of seats left. Uh, so we're trying to get the word out and appreciate you uh, letting me come and speak with uh, you and your audience today. Well, no problem. We uh, love to have you anytime, and uh, especially when you're involved in such a great event uh, like this. So what is your involvement uh, going to be? Are you going to be uh, uh, playing along with uh, Ronan Tyne, and will you uh, be doing any songs with him, or are you strictly on your own? We're still working out some of the final details, but uh, at a minimum, uh, we'll be opening up the second half of the show uh -huh. with uh, probably a 10 or 12 minute signature performance, and uh, no doubt, I'm sure we'll be playing uh, maybe out on Hanover Street as as patrons are arriving. Wow, well, that that is terrific. And so that is the uh, 15th at 7.30, December 15th, and uh, that, that is just just fabulous. We were just chatting off the air about what a, uh, a remarkable man uh, Ronan Tynan is. I mean, uh, uh, Paralympic athlete, uh, lost, uh, lost his legs, uh, lost the lower portion of both of his legs in an automobile accident years ago. A uh, Paralympic athlete who's won a number of medals and a doctor on top of that. Yeah, it's very interesting, isn't it? Uh, I've never met the uh, the man, but I, I look forward to you know speaking with him and asking him, saying, "So it's, you got your uh, singing career, uh, career by way of med school, apparently, which is uh, yeah. a unique endeavor, no doubt." Yeah, exactly, and of course, uh, certainly involved with the the Irish tenors, and uh, it has been, as you said, performed at Yankee Stadium uh, for many many years, doing uh, "God Bless America." He does. He does all the verses too. He does, he does them all. They, they say he's a true Renaissance man. With between uh, you know being a world athlete, uh, Olympic uh, Paralympic athlete, uh, being a physician, uh, and of course a, a gifted singer as well. And, he, and uh, from from reading up on him on his website and uh, through uh, other online sources, it seems like he didn't even start his singing career until he was 33. No, uh, which is not that long ago. He's still a young man. Still is. Yeah, 55 and. Uh, as you say, uh, his his career started rather uh, late in life, and I guess uh, he was encouraged by his father to uh, pursue his his musical ambitions. And born in Dublin, Ireland, and his uh, family home is uh, in Johnstown, which is in the uh, county Kilkenny, in Ireland. Uh, so yes, since he's moved to the United States, uh, I'm not sure where he resides uh, permanently, but I believe it's in the New England area. Mm -hmm. And I know he's very close friends with some of our, 
uh, good friends down in the Boston Police Gala Call. Oh, really? Yeah. You remember, they came up uh, last year for the uh, New Hampshire Police Association Pipes and Drums 20th anniversary concert, right? which was also at the Palace Theater. Uh -huh. And uh, yeah. Peter Ramsey and his team uh, really are just great people. And uh, anytime we can help support the Palace, uh, we, we do what we can. And uh, and I guess this this would be a terrific honor. Have you played with any uh, big name uh, performers in the past? So since I've been in the band just about ten years, uh, we were able to open for Rod Stewart when he came to the Verizon Wireless Arena. Really? Yeah. We, uh, we didn't get to really spend any time with him, but uh, yeah. apparently when he travels, he always uh, has his his team look out for uh, or seek out the local pipe band, not necessarily the police pipe band, but right. uh, but a local pipe band, and they apparently. Uh, Rod Stewart's known for that, so we had that opportunity. And again, uh, probably going back 15 years, uh, the members of the band at the time actually got to play with the, the Chieftains uh, oh, okay. right here yeah. in Manchester. And that wow. was uh, a, uh, uh, quite a, not an, I don't want to call it an accomplishment, but that was a real uh, honor to be able to participate. And the guys still talk about it 15 years later. Yeah, absolutely so. So and now uh, another uh, great performer in uh, Ronan Tynan. And uh, it should be a terrific show. Uh, just just seeing the uh, New Hampshire Police Association pipes and drums is a terrific show in itself. But to uh, be with Ronan Tynan, that makes it uh, extra special. I, I agree entirely. Yeah. And, uh, you know, I've been in the pipe band, like I said, just over 10 years now. And, and but for being a piper in this police pipe band, I, I would never have the opportunity to, you know, march in the outfield at Fenway, which we've uh, had the right. uh, the privilege to do twice, uh, to, to perform with Ronan Tynan uh, on stage. It's really once-in-a-lifetime opportunities. And uh, I know every, I speak for the entire band. We're all very proud uh, when we represent New Hampshire's law enforcement as we performed, you know, throughout the state. And also, uh, as we were mentioning our fair, uh, next Next year, uh, we're traveling to Delray, Florida, and we are the lead uh, guest uh, police pipe band for the Delray Beach, Florida, St. Patrick's Day Parade. Wow. wow. So, uh, Delray Beach, Florida, not a bad gig. No, I was, you know, yeah. it's, uh, <laughs> for the last 21 years, we've always marched in uh, really cold weather for uh, St. Patrick's Day. Yeah. So we said, you know what, after 21 years, maybe we could find somewhere warm. Not, not and, in 2016, uh, however. You'll be in the warmth of Delray Beach. That's right. This, and that opportunity presented itself, and... Uh, I'm told that that parade is attended, attended annually by more than 100,000 people. Wow. So, And the interesting thing about that parade also is it's very uh, focused around uh, public safety and our, our military. So a lot of, if not all, of the marching units and musical units are, are police, fire, and uh, U.S. military related. So it's a really unique parade in that sense because oftentimes you don't have just that core component. You always you have, might have high school marching bands and other floats, but this one is very specific. They, they uh, really try and honor uh, our public safety professionals and especially our, our veterans currently serving and those that have served in the past. So your reputation obviously uh, precedes you as uh, you know selected to play in such a, a major St. Patrick's Day parade. So obviously that reputation is growing. Well, we made, we've made a lot of friends over the last 21 years, and especially uh, last year for our 20th anniversary conference, uh, concert uh, where we performed uh, with the NYPD, Animal Society Pipes and Drums, the Boston Police Gaelic Calm of Pipes and Drums, and uh, the also world-renowned uh, Police Pipes and Drums of Bergen County, New Jersey. Wow. And, uh, you know, we came, they, they came up here, and we had a great time. We put on a great show over at the Palace, an outdoor concert. Uh, right on, right on Hanover Street, yeah. and uh, through some of those associations, it's yeah, it's, it's uh, helped get the word out, so to speak. Oh, absolutely. So, Sergeant Patrick Cheatham with us from the uh, Londonderry Police Department, and uh, a member of what you say for uh, ten years now of the uh, New Hampshire Police Association Pipes and Drums. Uh, anybody uh, been with the group for the entire twenty-one years? Uh, to the best I know, there are three members currently, uh, and we call them charting, charter members or founding members. And right. They are uh, Detective Bob Freitas, who recently retired from the Manchester Police Department. He currently is a special investigator with the Attorney General's office up in Concord. Also, Detective Brian Gannon, who recently retired from uh, the Manchester Police Department, and uh, Detective Billy Dexter, who uh, also just recently retired from the uh, Concord Police Department, and he's now a, uh, a part-time deputy sheriff with the Merrimack County Sheriff's Office. And so it's uh, no surprise probably that after 21 years of uh, playing in the pipe band, yeah. uh, that all three of these fellows, uh, you know, had more than 25 years in law enforcement themselves. Yeah. Well, it is a terrific, uh, terrific organization. I know you have many performances around the state uh, throughout the year, including one tomorrow. 
That's right. Uh, we perform uh, annually about 12 marching parades. Uh, we were supposed to perform in Derry last Saturday. Unfortunately, the uh, parade was canceled due to weather and yeah. some other considerations. But tomorrow we, we'll be marching in Hampton, right on Route 1 uh, from the Hampton, Northampton town line, uh, about one mile, one and a half miles. And that parade starts at 1 o'clock. Uh, the weather looks to be excellent, yeah. sunny and 45, which yeah. is Probably the nicest weather we've had for the Hampton Parade for the last five years. So if anyone listening in the audience uh, has been looking for something to do tomorrow, the, the, uh, I think they call it Experience Hampton is yeah. the organization that runs it. Uh, John Nyan, uh, a Hampton resident and a, a huge supporter of everything going on in Hampton uh, and a great all-around guy. Uh, they, they put on quite a parade and a great show, and we've been marching that parade for a number of years now. And uh, that, that, that uh, ends our parade season. Uh, up until, of course, uh, St. Patrick's Day next right. year. Right, and have to, uh, you know, really be in tune for Delray Beach, right? Yeah. <laughs> oh, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. That 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 should be a blast, and uh, and it's just uh, as we said, you, you have the you have the, the one CD, or do you have more than that? So we have just the one CD, okay. and uh, we've been speaking and, and talking maybe in the last six months or so about uh, coming up with the second edition because yeah. I. I think that we made that CD in 2006. It might have been 2008. Mm -hmm. uh, so either way, seven or nine years ago, and uh, we've probably increased our repertoire by at least another 20 or 25 songs. Wow. And uh, changed some things around in some of the older tunes and brought some older tunes back, and so now they're new tunes again, right. especially to our newer members. Um, and that's uh, I think that's one of our goals for the next uh, year or two is to try and update that CD and uh, do a new release. Well, there you go. Maybe you can have it so world premiere right here on The Pulse. You know? Anything we can do. You've been uh, so generous to allow us to come on and speak. Oh, well, you know, it, it's our pleasure. And, uh, you know, I know you guys are, are busy anyway with your, your everyday lives and your, your jobs. Uh, how much time is, is devoted to, to practice during the, the course of a week or a month? Uh, we do take several weeks off a year, but uh, we practice probably... Uh, I'd say 45 weeks out of the year, uh, every Tuesday wow. right here in Manchester. Uh, and then on top of that, of course, we have uh, all of the parades that we perform at, uh, police academy graduations, uh, other police memorials. Uh, most importantly and notably to us, we play at the uh, New Hampshire Police Memorial Ceremony, which is held every May during uh, National Law Enforcement Officers Memorial Week. And as you know, uh, the pipe band was founded following the tragic line of duty death of uh, one of New Hampshire's state police troopers, Sergeant James Noyce, back in 1994. And that's our core mission. And uh, although you know we, we have a lot of fun, uh, we never uh, stray and forget from the main purpose of this pipe band is to be ready to play uh, in, during or after uh, the tragic line of duty death of one of New Hampshire's police officers. Oh, ab absolutely so. Well, Patrick, I'll tell you, it's very exciting. And uh, again, December 15th, the New Hampshire Police Association Pipes and Drums, now in its 21st year uh, playing with uh, one of the Irish tenors and uh, a great vocalist, and uh, I'm sure it's going to be a terrific uh, holiday show, uh, Ronan Tynan at the, at the Palace Theatre. And uh, tickets still available through the Palace Theater at uh, palacetheater.org or 668 So, Patrick, it, it should be a lot of fun. And uh, glad you could make it in with us today here. It's great to see you again, Ken, and thank you very much. And I can't think of a better way to close our 2015 season than to, and, uh, to have this opportunity to play over at the Palace with Rona Tynan. Yeah, it really is a great, uh, great opportunity. But uh, and, and the fans, uh, the, the, the spectators who show up, uh, for, for this event are, are going to be uh, blown away, not only by uh, the great voice of Ronan Tynan, but uh, by the New Hampshire Police Association Pipes and Drums, a uh, fabulous uh, aggregation. And I, I want to play one more from that, uh, from that CD. Do you have any, any choices? I'm always partial to Scott and the Brave, and I know it's not an Irish tune, but that's uh, always a that's always that's always a, that's always a crowd favorite. You, you got that, J Dog? Scotland the Brave. J Dog is going to go. Here we go.
Oh, I love that. You, you couldn't have picked a better one, Sergeant Cheatham. Uh, Scotland the Brave. I'm Scottish. Our, our morning guy, Peter St. James, is, is Scottish as well. And you told me something that I did not realize. Uh, you know, we've, we've played the CD before on the air. I did not realize that it was recorded at Rocking Horse Studio in Pittsfield. It was back in, uh, like I said, it was either 2006 or 2008. Maybe J Dog could look on the CD yeah. uh, and, and uh, remind <laughs> me. But uh, yeah, the pipe band traveled up there uh, for two or three Tuesdays in a row. And it's uh, for those of you that aren't familiar with the outfit, it's uh, a real professional crew, but when you show up, it's, it looks like this rickety old barn. Yeah. But when you walk in, it's as if you've been transported, uh, you know, across the to the West Coast or something. And it's this uh, incredibly beautiful, uh, professional, state of the art oh, studio yeah. on the inside. And it, it really was, is. It was yeah. a lot of fun. Yeah, Brian Coombs and the whole gang there have done a, a great job at, at Rocking Horse Studio in Pittsfield. I I had just not realized that. Uh, that CD was recorded there. <laughs> it was, and then as you were sharing, uh, there are guests on your show weekly. Yes, they are. Yeah, right. every every Thursday at four oh five. So, very familiar with Brian's work. He was uh, named this past year as the uh, New England uh, Music Producer of the Year. So, uh, no wonder it sounds so good. Well, you know, for for every hour that's of uh, probably recording in the studio, I bet there's ten hours of work after the fact to clean yeah. it up and do the magic that they uh, that they do. No, no matter who the performers are, that that is uh, very very true. Uh, Patrick, thank you so much once again, and uh, the uh, great event is taking place uh, December the fifteenth. Uh, Ronan Tynan will be there, but more importantly, the uh, New Hampshire Police Association Pipes and Drums will be performing at the Palace Theater on that date. So it should be a great pre-Christmas show, and uh, we look forward to it, and uh, keep us posted as to uh, what you're going to be up to in the future. I look forward to coming back uh, after the, the holidays, and uh, yeah, we'd be happy to share what we have in store for St. Patrick's Day and our, our uh, performance lineup. We travel around the state on St. Patrick's Day to various locations and throughout the month of March. We look forward to it. Patrick, thank you so much. Thank you, Ken. Have a safe and happy holiday. You as well.